You know, you think about Appalachia folk, uh, folk crafts or whatever we want to call it, and the incredible history that exists here, and how we don't really talk about that, and we're not actually teaching students those techniques to keep that alive. This generation, it's all about, you know, the, the DIY and creating something that's unique and upcycling and so it fits in perfectly with the way the curriculum should be moving forward and sustainability. Like it's all connected. So this this should be like a, a hub for that kind of activity. technically a textile lab. Before it became this incredible space, it was the old test kitchen for the home economics department. And because of a generous donation by Amy Bircher, we were able to renovate and get a facility set up where we will be doing a lot of dyeing and printing, you know, basically experimenting with textiles. It'll also be used for the Intro to Textile course, which I teach, so students will be able to come in and conduct various sort of simple tests on textiles, which we haven't had the opportunity to do before we had this incredible space. So we're able to do a lot more hands-on learning than we, we were previously able to do. There's a lot of work that from a forward-thinking side, from an advancement in the textile industry, this is a real opportunity for WVU and their textile lab to just be constantly in front of new innovations, new ways of doing things, new technology that they could potentially do some grassroots testing in their lab, even for private business. I absolutely bleed blue and gold. You know, there's, there's so many memories wrapped up in four years for me that the fact that I could it's possible for me to give back. I'm honored to give back. And I can't think of a better place I would want to do that. I think that it allows students to come into this program knowing that the program is pushing itself to be better and that's for the students. So I would hope that future students coming in will be able to come in and feel as if, you know, I'm becoming a true expert within my field. You don't want to just come in and stay tunnel vision. You wanna be able to have, even if it's a bare understanding, but an understanding of every side, whether that be the industry or even yourself as an entrepreneur or anything like that, that you have dabbled into almost all aspects. So it's a great opportunity for future students to create a well-rounded education. Whenever students are given new opportunities to make new products or textiles or garments or anything, it sparks this motivation to just do it by yourself. I think it will help bring it more up to par with other design schools. For me personally, I really am passionate about making all my designs sustainable. And it definitely is easier to do it with the textile lab because it gives opportunity for natural dyes and just making more things natural. You know, people are taking notice at the, the cost, the real cost of being involved in, you know, the fashion, fashion cycle and how there is such a huge disconnect. We don't think about who the people are that produce our clothing. We don't think about the chemicals that are involved in the clothing. And I think if you sort of step back and you look at it from a more holistic perspective and you, you see that rich culture and the stories, you appreciate those pieces so much more. So it's sort of like you're, you're investing in like a, you know, a, I guess a, a greater, bigger cause. What's really the most appealing about this within a sustainable aspect is that this is the future. It's creating that mindset that everything is important and that everything has a use. And that, that definitely leads into having a space here that you know, you're making sure that everything that is being created in here is with sustainability in mind. I'm really excited to see what the students do and then how excited they get when they realize that there's a whole world out there that they probably aren't aware of, you know, in terms of natural dyes, being able to print their own yardage. There's a whole world of things that they would never have been exposed to if, if it wasn't for having this space. So I'm mostly excited about what they're going to do with all this new knowledge.